Good morning, you guys. How you doing? Nice to see you. Glad you're all here. Glad I'm here as well. Whoo! You guys are going to hear it pop here in a second? Probably. I just reloaded the extractor. Uh, right now, I am making handles to put my mugs together. Here in just a minute. And apologies if the audio is bad. I got I got to figure out the microphone situation in here. That's the next upgrade for the channel. Better audio. It'll happen one of these days. Maybe I'll let this sit long enough. We're gonna get a pop. Go on, pop. Like the only one time I want an air pocket, it's not gonna happen. I'll get the handles done a bit faster. Oh, there's a little air in it. Hey. Must have had a little dry clay in there. And that happens as well. I'll tear that off and just uh, reclaim that. I had a little chunker in it. So today, the plan is, I started doing the vlog thing yesterday. Hope you watched that. If you didn't, you should check it out. Uh, someone asked me yesterday on my live stream uh, what a typical day looks like for me. And I thought today would be a great time to do that. So I'm gonna get these handles done. And then I will uh, show you guys what I've done this week and also talk about kind of like what I do day to day. Handles. All right, let's do a little walking around. Step one is check the stamp I've been cutting. Uh, this is what I'm working on. It's a rocket stamp for uh, uh, Huntsville because they have a, a team, sports team. I think it's a baseball team. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but I've got first cut on this stamp. Uh, this is how I do all my stamped mugs. Uh, laser engraver. I do a first cut about 50-50 on these and then I go back and cut it again. Uh, a little lighter just to smooth things out. It makes for a cleaner stamp. And so, that's it. I get it cutting again. Wow! And we got a bisque going. Probably nice. Yeah, it's nice and cool now. Bisked stuff. Oh yeah, I got some logo mugs in this batch. I'll grab one of those. I gotta prop this lid up. I'm working on this logo job. I think this company's in Texas. Bedhead. That's what I got every day. Bedhead. Got bedhead right now. That's my theme. That's my mode. There's another one. He, the customer wanted these all different shapes and sizes. So there's a lot of variety in this batch. I like variety. Variety is in fact the spice of life. Or so I've been told. Santa Claus mug. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not going to unload this yet because we have a batch of glaze that is backed up right now. There's a planter. I think I made that one on a on a video actually. It's got the got the drainage hole. Ah, don't break it on a drip plate. All right, kiln check complete. And uh, right here, I got my work cut out for me. Uh, this is all the stuff I've made. A lot of this I've made on my YouTube videos. Uh, this year one of the bigger pieces as I was talking about yesterday if you caught that video I don't ship big pottery I like this bowl stack um, because it's super expensive to ship and if it breaks I don't have anything to replace it uh, mugs are easy to ship um, and I'm also set up for it so uh, see this stack of bowls here I can fire them the first firing like this because the glaze won't stick to one another but i have to fire them separate so just that stack of one stack of bowls right there would take up a huge portion of the kiln uh it's going to take me a long time to get all this stuff fired honestly i'm just going to do it a little bit at a time when i have space uh, i've done a few pieces already and you know, we got some pieces like down on the floor already glazed and stuff um, but some of these uh you might remember this video i did a series of these face planters uh on my channel check that out if you haven't seen it i am excited to get some of this done uh i am going to finish some of these for christmas presents this year i really like these uh these scalloped bowls i gotta get on that and this is my clay mixer got my reclaim in there see a mug what was wrong with this mug i got rid of sandy mug he had an s crack boo so basically the process is with that, oh, there's, there's a trash bag right there, sorry. Process with that is I'll rehydrate this clay. Sometimes I'll just rehydrate it. It basically soaks the water up like a sponge and then becomes 
uh, like kind of the consistency of chocolate pudding. And I'll just let it sit for a while because I have plenty of time to wait on the reclaim. And then when it gets the right consistency, I'll mix it up real good. It moves here. Uh, this is clay that I have mixed up. You see it's all squishy. And then I put it into this machine here. This is called a pug mill. So, there it is. You put it in that hopper there. It goes down in there. And there's an auger that runs through. And then there's a vacuum that pulls the air out of the clay. And then it comes out. Clay uh, uh, ready to throw on the wheel. It's kind of handy. Uh, I wish I had one with a little bit bigger hopper on it. Because it takes a while. You got to throw it in there like a pound at a time. Well, and here is the stuff that we have ready for glaze. So my Megs has not been here this week. Uh, she got this batch waxed on Monday. She was here Monday, but my son's been out of school since uh, Tuesday. Uh, you can see how the bottom's kind of shiny. We paint a wax resist on the pieces. And uh, that keeps the glaze from sticking to wherever the wax resist is. So we paint wax around the eyes and the teeth. And then we dip the mugs into the glaze bucket and uh, it doesn't stick to those spots. You can't have glaze on the bottom. If you put that on a kiln shelf and fire it with glaze on the bottom, it'll actually stick to the shelf. I've accidentally done that a few times in my 15 year pottery career. Uh, but these will be, uh, part of these are for shop orders, but part of these are gonna be for Etsy. Mustachioed mug. I, I'm so smiley because I'm peaceful or something. Oh, and then we got ooh, doggies. Doggies and chickens. Chicken! Oh, I got some of these too. Elephants and tigers. These are for my uh, Alabama shop because our football team teams in the state are elephants and tigers. And here is all the stuff I have made so far this week. I think I'm sitting around 130 pieces after I get my things put together uh, for today. Uh, this is a pretty typical week's worth work for me. I shoot for at least 150 pieces in a week. Uh, I'll probably overshoot that a bit this week. Uh, I think I landed about 160, but I think I'm going to have to move over to doing a little glaze catch up on Saturday. We'll have to work Saturday because I've missed my megs a bit this week. We're a little bit behind on that stuff that's all right it happens so oh here's a brand new uh brand new design right here uh just cut this stamp right before the rocket one that i was showing you guys but first i totally agree with that and here we are so i guess that concludes the studio tour for the day i will show you guys around and explain things further maybe we'll look at the inventory in the next one I didn't show you like completed pieces and stuff. Uh, so I was going to talk about my day to day, like no way. But first, coffee. Oh, it's magical! So delicious. And also, what I'm doing right now, I'm trimming my mugs. If you watch my live stream, you see me do this a whole bunch of times. But I'm taking my Maker's Mark stamp and stamping it into the bottom of the piece while, and simultaneously I'm uh, trimming the mug. I do it this way, you'll see a lot of potters put their mugs back on the wheel and like cut into the clay to cut a footer in. I press all my footers. Uh, I make my pieces thinner on the bottoms just specifically so that I can uh, do it this way. Uh, this is most efficient for me because my, my pieces have to be a certain consistency. Uh, to be able to handle, so I can handle this mug, but it's still wet enough that I can sculpt and push and pull the clay around, handle it without marring it up. Uh, so this makes the most sense for me. So if I were to put a face on this and then put it back on the wheel and then trim it and then put a handle on it, it would be just, it would take so much more time. Um, this, this works the best. So uh, what I was gonna talk about, oh yeah, day to day. So a typical day for me, I wake up at about five. Sometimes of the year that, that gets bumped back to four, depending on workload, because throughout the year we have spurts. So our busy season is around um, kind of second week of June or so. I start working on holiday orders, and uh, I really have to like keep things going. A lot of times uh, during the summer, I'm making like 300 plus pieces a week. Uh, 
I, I really I did this summer, and so I'll, I'll work from like four fifteen until like sometimes six seven o'clock at night. Those nights are rare, but but they do happen, and I typically work full days on Saturdays during that time as well. Um, I pretty much come into the studio every single day, uh, at least to check things. I almost always have a kiln going. Uh, but a Monday through Friday, average day, uh, roll out of bed, uh, fill up my coffee, and then walk to work. I get here, I check on things, like if I've got the laser going, which I showed you guys a little while, I'll get that going again. Um, I'll check the kiln. Uh, sometimes I have to unload or load a kiln. Um, I usually do that a little bit later in the morning. Um, if I have something where I can just like sit down, if I need, like yesterday I made eyes and teeth when I sat down, uh, or trim some cups like this, or start putting faces on cups, uh, I kind of prefer doing that kind of thing. I start doing that. Uh, something that I can just kind of sit and drink my coffee while I'm, while I'm working. Uh, so I'll do that about an hour and then I will go back home and, and see the kids before they go off to school. See Max for a minute, we'll talk about the day, uh, plan what we got going on. And uh, then I'll come back to work and continue doing what I was doing. Um, if the sun's up, uh, I'll go, um, as soon as the sun comes up, I start doing my kiln work, basically. Uh, my kilns are kind of in a covered porch area. And uh, I have a light out there, but especially like in the wintertime, it's all cold and stuff. I like for it to kind of warm up a bit before I start doing that kind of work. Um, but when I uh, get back, I usually continue whatever I was working on. So if I was putting faces on the cups, I'd do that for a little bit longer. Uh, my Megs arrives after she's dropped the kids off at school. Uh, we'll take a walk or at least have like a little work meeting just to see what we've got going on, what orders are going out. Uh, she'll usually start working on packing out the orders if we've got Etsy orders or shop orders. Um, it's any, any kind of office work, she handles that. And then as soon as she finishes that, she moves over to Glaze. All that the stuff on the table right there, she'll work on that. Um, and I will do, like if i got to mix up glazes or if i got to start cutting a stamp or if I've got any kiln work to do, I'll get that in. Uh, and then I'll move back to putting faces on the cups. I spend a lot of time, I spend most of my time either on the pottery wheel or putting faces on cups. Uh, so at about 10.30, I move on to the gym uh, when I have a workout day. I work out about three days a week right now. Uh, sometimes of the year, I kind of go through phases of like hitting it hard. Usually January, February when the studio works kind of uh, chilled out a little bit. I'll do, uh, I'll do five day a week workouts, sometimes six days a week. Uh, I do that, go to lunch at 11. I take a short lunch. I'm usually back by 11.20, uh, 11.30. Uh, I'll get things around to throw cups for a few hours in the afternoon. Uh, pretty much do that every single day. Uh, and I live stream it uh, from 12 to 2.30 Central Time, typically Monday through Friday. And uh, as soon as the stream's done, I put those in front of the fan for just a little while, so just so that they're dry enough that I can handle them. I'll trim them. I'll cut them off the bats. I won't trim them completely, but cut them off the bats so that they're in a round like this. And then uh, they'll be ready for faces the next day. And uh, if I have time, I'll go ahead and make teeth and eyes and everything for the next batch uh, for the next day and finish up anything. This is also the time where I handle all my kind of office things. So if I've got emails, respond to those. Uh, I do all my posting, social media stuff, uh, YouTube video postings and stuff during that period of time. And then I go home. It really depends on the day. It depends on if we have extracurriculars, like if I need to go home and cook dinner. Uh, that kind of determines the end of my day. Uh, yesterday I went home at about 5.30. So yesterday, I, it was about 4.30 to 5.30 day, but it really, the, the length of my day depends on what needs doing. Um, if we're behind, uh, I stay later. Um, if we're in really the, the extracurriculars, and if I have to come back to work, I have to come back to work sometimes. But that's a tip, that's a very typical day. That's basically what I do uh, day in, day out, uh, week on week. Uh, I take one week off uh, in the year. I'll take 
uh, a little time off around Christmas. I usually take three or four days off around Christmas time. Um, but the studio pretty much, it stays pretty steady. Uh, if I don't have shop orders to fill, like I have to be making inventory for Etsy because that's like the only time I have to make the stuff for us to actually sell retail wise. Uh, today, particularly the things that I would like to get done, I'd like to get faces on all these cups. Probably going to happen because these are simpler faces today. I made all the complicated ones uh, yesterday and finished up the complicated ones this morning. So it'd be all the simple stuff. And this afternoon I'll throw another batch. Uh, I had another shop order come in yesterday. Uh, so I'll have to add that to my list of things to make, uh, kind of see where I'm at. Uh, I'll be pretty close uh, to getting my uh, quota after the throw session today, the mugs I put together tomorrow. I think I'll be right at the number I needed to fill the orders I, I wanted to get done this week. And then I'll add in the other one and I might go ahead and get that one done or I might move over uh, to glazing because Max has been out so much this week. But that's the plan. But hey, thank you guys so much for watching my video and hanging with me today. Let me know what you think about these vlog style videos. Uh, they're brand new. Let me know if you have questions. Uh, is there anything you'd like to see in further detail? I'd love to go into that. I don't know what we'll do tomorrow. I actually sat down yesterday after I recorded and uh, wrote down a bunch of uh, topics that I could talk about. Uh, but you guys probably have some that I haven't even thought about. So hit me up. Let me know. Also, come hang out with me live. I am live Monday through Friday from about 12 to 2.30 Central Time. We have a good time. Yesterday, we went deep. We talked about all the uh, all the issues in the world. Maybe, okay, that's a little hyperbolic. We, we talked about a lot of controversial stuff. <laughs> we do that every now and then. It was fun, though. Yesterday's stream was pretty great. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, let me go ahead and finish stamping this last piece and I'll show you guys so I can at least show you what I did I kind of explained it but I didn't show you the finished product of it this is step one for putting the faces on the cups so after I do this I'll need to uh, gotta go get some lip coils I'm out of these right here I did all the handles you guys saw me do that a little while ago um, but I gotta make lips and not even that many lips because I'm doing the simple stuff now. Do that. Got to gotta make some eyeballs. And then I'll be ready to cruise along with these. All right. Stamp completo. I'll show you guys. Hey, I hope you guys have great days. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.